Hey everyone, Andrew Castro here doing a review of the Dismania Fanatic Backpack. This is a new item from Dismania that came out this past weekend. I got a chance to get my hands on one and play a few rounds with it. And yeah, show you some of the things that I like about it. I'll show you a short clip here uh, with some of the additional features that I like about this bag. But first things first, let's transfer what I have in my current bag over into this one. I use a Grip B series, carry about 22 discs with me. So let's see what we can get in here. First things I'll do is uh, start with the main compartment, fill that up. It's a nice bag, zippers up. It's a sm small little internal frame in here. It adds a little support. And we'll go ahead and get started on this. So I put about 18 discs in my main compartment. It's a mix of mainly fairway drivers, a couple mid-ranges, overstable butter, and some distance drivers. So, so far, everything's getting in there. Last three discs, and no problem gets in there. Cool. Um, I carry four putters with me that I normally putt with or have an upshot. Um, they advertise this as being able to fit between two and three. Like I said, I carry four, so let's go ahead and drop two of them in there, no problem. And then I'll drop in the last two. And yeah, they can get in there as well. Awesome. Um, let's go ahead and add in some of the other things I have. Carry a 32 ounce water bottle. Go ahead and put that in there. I also have a koozie that I'll have another beverage in, or in this case, I do have some of my uh, additional items, like a dirt bag. I'll go ahead and take my carabiner. Um, I'll go ahead and hook this up over on this side. And let's see, I got a mini marker, flashlight, and some snacks. I don't want to carry too much in a room with me. So I'll go ahead and get the snacks in here. And close this up. I'll go ahead and finish it out on this side with the uh, mini marker. And flashlight, I still got some room for additional towels over here, so awesome. But yeah, overall, real nice bag. Let's take a look at a small clip that goes over some of the other additional features of the bag. So some of the things that I didn't cover um, in the small video clip and earlier on was the overall construction of the bag. It feels nice. It's uh, you know able to stand up on its own as we can see here um, on the back side here. It does have padded straps, which is nice. It has also a padded back. There's not a real sturdy internal frame, which is new for me, but I really uh, like it so far because it just kind of molds to your bag. It is a lightweight bag. It's not as heavy as some of my other bags. Um, but overall, I really dig it. It's a great bag for uh, quick, easy rounds. Uh, so far, I'm gonna be using this for uh, just my day-to-day -day rounds or I don't wanna have wear and tear on some of my larger tournament bags. So um, yeah, so far it's been a great bag. I would suggest if you're looking for something to kinda have as like a daily user where you don't wanna add a lot of wear and tear or if you're a beginner looking for an entry-level bag that's, that's built of good quality, I would say, you know, go on and pick one of these up. Hopefully you guys found this video uh, helpful. Uh, please feel free to leave some comments. Let me know any comments, suggestions, or if you have any questions about the bag, and I'll be more than happy to help. I uh, hope you guys have a good day and get out there and play some disc golf. See ya.